Hello. Oh no, I can hear myself. There we go. So today we're going to be streaming some Manor Lords. I played a little bit of this game. I liked it. It was okay. I think I played it for less than an hour. Um, and it seems like something that I could actually uh, probably finish today, if not beat a level. Um, not really sure on how hard this game actually is, because I haven't gone to the combat yet or anything like that. So I'm going to I'm going to switch into the game pretty quickly here cuz I want to see uh, I want to see more of this game. I didn't play too much of it, so Wait, it's uh not too loud here. A little loud. Let me uh Turn that off slightly. Okay. As you can tell, I've changed quite a few things about my streaming setup. It isn't fully finished. Um, but I have improved a lot, including the audio quality. I figured out a good way to try and uh, make the audio more surround sound instead of it being like directly in your face. So that was a good improvement that I figured out. Um, I positioned a bunch of different things differently as well as I also placed a chat box. So now when people chat you'll actually be able to see it slightly in game. It'll be a little bit in the corner. Um, I feel like that's a lot less distracting and more like, oh I could see what people are saying now. So, uh, I adjusted everything like that, as well as I fixed a few of my links. Um, my tipping link was apparently not working at all this whole time, uh, even though I linked it directly to my Patreon. Uh, not Patreon, sorry, PayPal. Uh, so instead I changed that up, and I removed it from that, and I created a whole separate small like website for it. So now that's uh, got all my links on it, as well as it also got uh, my tips and I think a few other things that I can't remember offhand. Um, besides that, a uh, few other improvements that aren't going to be shown today, but probably tomorrow. So we'll, uh, we're going to get into game here and... Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit what this game's about. Now, this game's kind of cool. It is early access. Uh, so there's a few things that are fully there. But you can make your own albums and such, which is I really, really like. Um, let's see here. Let's go for this. And then after you put that in there, you can click one of these. And it'll adjust it into... Uh, a multi album basically and then you can select other ones um which i never figure out how to do actually but you can also change it kind of like that which is kind of silly uh where is you should be able to move that one i guess they didn't put any movement for that let me let me see here Oh, you could stretch things? I didn't even know that. That's funny. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why you're not allowed to move that one around. But most of the other ones you can. Let's see. Let's see. Can't really see anything there. 
well, that, that one looks kind of cool. But also, you can't really see what's going on. This looks kind of bad now. I shouldn't have done it like that. I wish you could, like, adjust the movement of each one independently, but you can't. Um, which kind of sucks. But, uh, let's, uh, let's do this one, you know what? Yeah, let's do this one. Let's, uh, there's a bunch of colors you can select and change around. Let's make something that looks very hideous. Uh... If we can. There we go. Perfect. We're going to be this guy. Uh, I'm not sure what I should name him. I wish it was like a randomized name thing. That'd be cool. That's what they should add. I always like trying to figure out like randomized names and clicking through it very quickly to see if there's anything good. I wish there was more games that did it like Barony, um, which I, I actually might stream one day. Um, it is a very hard game. So I would want to do it with multiple people. Let's see here. Oh, what should his name be? Anybody got any ideas? Or do you want me to create something just awful? Dale the Dale the Ugly. I'm sorry. If you look like this, you're not the best looking person. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I think we're just going to go default settings, actually. I haven't really played much of this, uh, so I don't really know what's the difference between each other. And there's only one map to actually select. And you can't change any of the scenarios yet. So we're just going to go straight in there. I don't think I actually watched the intro cinematic if there was one. No. Okay. New message right off the bat. Got to claim everything. Um. So all my people are homeless. Uh, they're building things right now. Uh, the main thing that I would want in the beginning is a probably a woodcutters. Um, and probably a hunter camp. And a forager hut. So this game does roads kind of cool. Uh, you can adjust the roads depending on uh, how you make them. So you can even do it like that and it would actually work. Whereas like other games, kind of like City Skylines, you wouldn't be able to do it like that at all. Um, we need some housing. So we're, we're going to build a house this year. Just like this. Okay, I could actually connect to that. I thought I couldn't do it like that. I guess it would make it even. Yeah. And then once I get enough wood, I can actually uh, put that down. Uh, let's speed up time. Here we're going to start building. I just realized, did you guys hear them talking? This man was talking about freezing his balls off. Uh, you can go in third person in this game, which is great. You can see how everyone's doing. Hello. 
fellow citizens. I have a sword, but I don't know if you can actually use it. Um... Can I actually build houses now? Question. Almost. Let's build three houses for now. We can just keep expanding off of it afterwards. Uh, let's set one person to here, one person to here, and one person to here. We gotta make sure we store up as much food as we can. Um, stone, iron. Oh, we start with a rich wild animal deposit. That's great. But uh, not much else. Just, just food. All right. Um, so there is brigands. Yes, there they are. There's one. Is there just one? Okay, there's just one on this map. Last time I played, there was like, uh, at least seven. Like, all, all the way across the map. It was not fun. I just constantly got raided. <laughs> So they need to build these houses. Um, if you want them to work faster, we need a hitching post. And we need another ox or a horse. I recommend trying to get a horse at first. Uh, let's put one person there. Speed them along a little bit more. Make sure they don't run away. Um, afterwards, we need to build a farm. And then a church. Let's, uh... Oh yeah, you can't place that without that. Got it. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights of honor against those who have wronged me. I hope you do not judge me by the rumors of slander that have some that some may have spread about me. Um... You have no rightful claim. I don't really know what I just did, but hopefully I don't get a uh, war declared on me. <laughs> um, Where do we want to put a farm? We probably would want to put a farm here. Um, Let me just double check to see... Uh, the fertility areas. Well, I guess we know where we want to go. <laughs> My god. Can I claim these areas? Claim with influence 1,000 each. Alright. Well, I need to figure out how to get influence. I don't know how to get that yet. Um, people are still building. I want to make sure these animals don't run away. Requesting more market space for that. So we need a storehouse. But again, we don't have enough wood. They're taking forever. No more housing. Get me more wood. Oh, this is firewood. I didn't oopsies. I wanted a logging camp. Uh, relocate. Go there. Um, how do I get wood back? Do I just have to knock trees down? I think someone just did it for me, actually. But we don't have any storage for it. Okay. 
that. Let me place this. Set all these to really, really low. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Since they're taking the wood, demolish that. Speed up time. For now. There we go. Build that. Highest priority. Once they build this, we should be pretty much set. There we go. And we need one permanent person signed to this. We need a storehouse, a granary, ching posts, and houses. Can set these back up to medium. Okay. I think I don't have enough builders actually. Yeah. Okay. Build. Build, damn you. We need houses. Okay. Now for houses, they're a little bit different. Uh, think of Anno. They need water, they need church, and then they need market. Uh, all those ones actually provide something good to them. So, for now, we need to build a well for everybody, which requires this, uh, like, water zone, basically. So we're going to build it right there. Uh, next, they require a church. I can find it. Here it is which also requires regular wood and wood planks. So what we would need themselves is a sawmill. Put it right there. Once it actually gets set up, we can start placing more. Um, and actually getting the church itself. Now, since I destroyed the other house, let's see if I can place the other one again. Um, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Let's see here. Let's try and do it like this. Road obstruction. Yes, okay. So we need more wood anyway. So we'll wait. Fast forward. Hopefully, oh, I do need to build a granary, and I need to make sure I can defend myself. Um, gotta wait for that. Let's see what else we can make here. Let's get a market. I think a market right now would help me a lot. Let's uh let's actually do it like right here. Instead of the housing. There we go. 98 free stall locations so people can start selling stuff there now. Let's uh 
We've got 14 timber. Let's do that right there. Did they just use that? I think they just used the resource I was about to put down. Oh no. Wait, why won't let me place this actually? I don't know. Uh, Alright, well, uh, I guess I will find a different place to put that. Uh, I'm probably going to put the church over here. Um, And I can actually try and do it like this instead. Make this a little more organized. Place those there so we have enough houses. Stock, damage by weather, supplies, god damn it. Uh, did I place a storehouse yet, or did I forget? I think I forgot. Okay. Well, we're going to place a granary right there. And then a storehouse. Keep them together. And now I guess we're just waiting for the builders. Also, put this right here. All right, so then they'll start moving all of our items into the actual granary area. Actually, wait, can we, can I walk around in third person while it's sped up like that? No, okay. So now we have exactly five houses. Unassigned ox is our needed for construction work. There you go. Have fun with that. See, we got a lot of resources now. Let's uh, build that sawmill. Let's also expand this road. Or salt pit. My bad. Oh no, I already have it. Get out of here. Making me lose my mind. Throw it in. Why are you just ignoring that? Damn it. See, look at that. It always happens. They always steal my shit. I well, I have no amenities yet. Can't tell them to make that. Uh, I need money. And I would need a blacksmith. Which requires these. Uh, one un unassigned family. All right, so I'm going to need to switch someone off of this. Probably that. And then throw them on there. Okay. So once they actually start producing that, we're going to have a good time. Uh, I have mercenary companies I can buy, but I need money. Trading post. Yeah, we get that. Put it right there, right across, and then we can put the church. Let's see. I got a new settler. 
So yeah, I have to wait until they're actually like stocked up in planks. Let's see our supplies. Got a lot of food. Like a lot, a lot of food. How much logs? 23. This is why I wanted to buy another one for the hitching post. Let me, let me actually do that. Let me see when they actually get here. Okay. See, for some reason, it's all dependent on this one ox. Running out of fuel. We don't really need fuel right now, don't we? Yeah, it's, uh, it's August. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Damn it, there goes some more of my supplies, of course. Let me take that guy off of that and put them on there. You know what? Everyone get off of food for now. I know that's the dangerous thing for me to say. Uh, just build. There we go. And that should be good for our food supply and such. There we go. And now our settlements increased. Now we can select uh, like a development and such. Uh, I didn't really learn much about how to do this. Um, so let me just read these real quick. So I'm not really sure exactly which one would be best for this. Um, maybe foreign supplier would be the best for now, until I actually figure out more. So we're going to go that path real quick. Uh, because the more we can actually just outright build with the regular resources, the better we are. Um, we have 30 already? Jesus. Uh, let's throw down that church. I didn't think we were going to get so much so quickly. Build that when you get a chance. Uh, also try and get a tavern. Let's try and make people a little bit happier. Um, What else? What else do you want? Linen, leather... And yarn. Uh, let's form a militia. It's probably for the best, considering that we need uh defenders. Yes, I think that's the right one I wanted to click. So. There we go. We got 10 people. And it will stop bandits from taking our supplies. Um, let's see what's on here. Berries. No fuel. Probably because they don't have a lot of fuel. Uh, 
All right. Uh, bandit camp was sighted. I wonder if they... Oh, no. There's another one right there. Okay. That's a little bit better. So there's not enough supplies because we have no fuel. Firewood stall was completed, but there is no firewall wall the cell. Uh, see this. So this is how you sell to get actual money. You're gonna establish trade routes. Probably the best one to do right now is planks because it's so easy to sell. Or firewood. We do have hide we can actually sell as well. But we need more people. So let's focus on that first. Probably need a ridiculous amount of people. So let's do something absolutely insane. How much do we have? We have eight wood to spare. This, this, it's 12. It's 10. Getting closer. There we go. Can I move stuff into that storage already, or does it automatically do it? Uh, you need to actually assign people to do so. Okay. We don't need that many people on there right now. Got 41. Take this one off. We're just going to have to move people around for a little bit until we finish certain things. Okay, so we do have two oxes. Sign one to that. Finish that if you can. We we might not have enough stone. Okay. I do know those bandits were stealing from us for a while. So I'm not really sure how much they actually took. How much food do we have? Three months worth? Those on that. Okay. So, we got somebody working on that. Three and three. We want to make sure we're actually hunting and uh, getting the berries before they go. Which, we're in November. So, December to February. Is there any homeless? No. Good.
So we need an artisan workshop. Clothing supplies. And another type of food. Uh, our improve it. Our approval is going up, which is great. Stock damage by weather, of course, of course. Love to see it. So, uh, some people might starve. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind already. They stole all of our berries. Now all we have left is the animals. Hopefully that doesn't go down too fast. Yep, yep. I know. It's uh, not my fault. Set down the hunting limit to five. Apparently we're doing good, somehow. Uh, so we just need clothing. Which, let's see here, what can we do for that? Tannery. Let's make a tannery when we get a chance. Oh my god, that was so much lag. Holy crap. So once this weather is actually over, we should be in a good shape. We just have to uh, survive. Let's uh, let's check out the town. We're getting pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty nice. It's January. Um, what else do we want here? So we do have to get this, which I'll also put down. Um, once this weather is over, uh, we should have more population. Do not have much logs left. Animals are still out of good shape. Hmm. We do need somebody to construct. You know what? Let's do this. Because we're at six months of food already. Take those guys off. Let the animals uh, regenerate while they build. <laughs> Do you? It was just an army of people just moving straight north. <laughs> Okay. They still have to build this. That's gonna take a little bit. Um We need clay. Or actually it's not clay, sorry, it's stone. Um Let's 
Let's also make a farmhouse. Should we place a farm right here? Probably. So let's do that. And then once the spring actually comes, we can actually start doing something with it. Uh, we want wheat. The crop rotation. And then we'll assign a family to them when we get a chance. Another bandit camp. On the other side of me. They, uh... They're really building an army here for us, aren't they? Uh, two months of food left. It's February still. Some more wood for us. Turns out a band of raiders is roaming in the nearby land. Should we track their steps? Well, we, uh... We don't have much time, actually. Seems like people are already trying to kill me. Understandably. People hate me. What should I do? Well, we're going to need a smithy. For tools and such. We want to assign this person here. It is March. Another family has joined us. Now we have seven. We have one on the sign person. Tannery. We should get that actually, so then we can actually level these guys up. So let's do that. And then we can start leveling people up to level 2. Fourteen. I'm going to sign that one. Go to the forgery. Yep. So then... They can stay at a pretty high level for us. Clothing stall has been constructed. But we still need leather. Which we're making right now. And we have a bunch of extra. Okay. So we need to upgrade these with wood. So they better hurry up. My people are surprisingly very happy. Don't know what I'm doing right. Oh, another family. Set that for that. No, actually, you know what we're going to do? Um, well, we don't need stone, actually. We do need somebody to start the farm. You guys are going to do the farm. So it's already April. God damn it. 
At least they sold stuff we don't really use. Not right now, at least. Someone is claiming. Hold up, pause, pause. What are they claiming? Is it... I I don't know where is being claimed. Oh. Um. I fucked up. <laughs> Uh, I messed up very badly, in fact. I don't actually have an army. How much is there? Oh my god. Hey, can we just say it was a prank? Hey, uh, it, it was just a prank. Everyone can go home. Yeah, if we don't show up, do we lose? Probably. Um, well, it's good to know that there's that many, uh, units per area. We know exactly how much we would actually need to actually do fight. How much would it cost to actually hire anyone? A lot. Got it. Hundred and fifteen percent effectiveness. Okay, and when you split them, they actually just straight up split. Okay. Well, we lost our first war. By not having any units to fight them. <laughs> it happens. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, I don't have any more meat, do I? Nope. You do that. We got 17 of that wood for now. Fast forward. We got no money. We got another family, though. Which, they can go there. Keep selling. Those are all in there. We should probably upgrade these. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that one needs the other one. We need more unassigned families, so let's uh let's build a little bit more townage if we can. I 
because we still need that other food type. You guys build for now. Um, they are still plowing the fields. Hey, you know, that battle has been going on for a while, and they, uh, they've just been sitting there. Even though they got a lot of units, uh, they're just chilling. As long as they don't come here, we'll be all right. We need, uh, iron. So, let's get this. Let's get a road. There we go. Our generic storage is full, apparently. Um, I don't know for where. Actually, enemy units have been spotted. Are they just keep calling in more? They have just been calling in more this whole time. When will that actually work? We got two food types. Oh, actually, we got two more unassigned families, which is great. One of them is going to go there. While one stays at the builds builder. Got two free houses. Another free family. You guys are going to work at the church. Next free family we're going to get, we're going to assign them straight to the logging camp and they're going to stay as the loggers. And then we are going to do one for this mining pit so we can get some iron. That is taking quite a while. It's already July, and they have not even planted a single crop. Which I have to say, is very bad. There we go. Peace declared. Did they get it? They actually get claims on this. Oh, they wanted claims on that one. Well, they do have bandits over there. But they have a rich stone deposit. I've also been, you know, upside down this whole time, apparently. Um, here's the actual names of the map. Uh, not sure why I was upside down. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I want that one. I feel like that or this would be really good. But. I think my first claim will probably be this one. Whenever I get it. Probably will get war declared on me. Uh, what do we need for that again? 
beekeeper, which we need two more levels for two houses, which I've been trying to get actively. Um, let's see if I can get this. Let's do that. Another ruler army was sighted. Oh, are they leaving or is people attacking me? I'm assuming they're leaving. Okay. Uh, I wonder if they're ever going to actually finish this uh, thing in time. I don't think they will. Okay. Got a bunch of families now. Can I actually upgrade? No. All right. Time to build more houses. That's my only plan. How much we need? 10. We do have 14. I guess we're using it. The reason it does that. Uh, we got nine there. It's not another person there. You guys can go there. Another bandit camp. Do we need more planks? Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Okay. So now we have max people throughout all of our buildings. Uh, how do you rotate, rotate this again? Or wait, can I just do it like this? Yeah, okay. Alright. I mean, I'm just waiting on the actual storage to recognize that we have stuff in it. Uh, well, they're almost done, I think. I keep assigning more people to it to finish it faster, but <laughs> it's uh, still taking quite a while. One unassigned arc. Gotta wait until I can actually uh, either upgrade or build houses. I don't know why it says I don't have uh, the food supplies needed, when I obviously do. Uh, maybe I have to build a road connecting in between them? I don't like this. No, that didn't work. Well, at least it made it more clear looking. Uh, let's see how many I can actually build. I think I can only build a few. Yes, that. Build those really close. Who are very happy.
but I'm not getting any money from everything. Uh, another person is claiming another zone. Which is the zone I was about to claim. I do not have anybody to defend it. Oh, I know it's this zone. Oh, they're fighting the brigands. Uh, yeah, you guys are fine. Do what you need. Have fun. I'm not going to bother you guys for that. Oh, they actually won against it. Nice. Okay. I don't know why they uh they have so many people. Uh, I don't really have that many. Don't really know how they're building up so quickly either. Oh, wait a minute. Where is... Did I already get rid of it? Or upgrade it? Oh, no. Here it is. No, that's not it. Never mind. I thought I had, like, a little... Like, worker camp. Not crazy, right? Like, I had a settler camp. I don't know where I put it. Sign that. Sign that. We're doing that in November. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna how we're gonna do that. Uh, fuel. Send another family to that. We have one space. There you go. Do I even have that much resources for food? No. I'm definitely expanding very quickly, so I don't actually have a lot of, like, food zones yet. Oh, wait, I can upgrade now. Oh, I can apparently upgrade this one, but not the others. I need, I need two of them upgraded, so. Do that. People mining. Uh, need to place that down, I think, right? Nope, I already got a bloomery. Do I have a blacksmith? No, because I would probably put it there. Let's build that. Are they still growing, even though it's winter? Yep. Yes, it is. Fair enough, I think. Um, 
Well, I don't need anyone at the forager's hut right now. These are under construction. I'm going to get killed by the raiders. Okay. Nice. Now we're getting money. Need at least a small stone church. Okay. There we go. Better deals. Don't really care about that. Firewood conversion. Let's get that and try and get deep mining. What did that say? Oh no. Okay, more upgraded houses, so I can actually get some regional wealth, some taxes and such. I have two dollars. How do you get like how much influence could I actually get from that? Because it seems like I'm just getting overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, one month for food. You guys are going to go there. So I need some more people hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More houses there. And I think I can start assigning people to areas that are really needed. Oh, I lost the requirement. Okay. Hmm. Where's the other bandit camp? There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. And there was also an army spotted, which was down here. I wonder if they're going to rush all the way up there. Okay. Put a 
blacksmith there. That's all the money I had. Let's fast forward. Got six open spots. Probably would need that next. Uh, after we finish this, of course. Enemy units have been spotted. Oh. Oh yeah, we're being attacked. That's right. Uh Hey, can you make those quicker, please? Um because we need a lot. Hey, can you guys help? <laughs> I don't know if they're going to help us. Seems like they're just two armies, though. Not too bad. Um, I don't know if we're going to live through this. Um, take those guys off. Hey, can you guys not kill us, please? Uh, uh, I don't have any money. Crap. Um, all right, uh, we'll just see what happens. Are they coming to kill me? Oh, that doesn't look good. Hey! Chill! Chill! What the hell is going on? Leave her guys alone. My God, everything's on fire. Uh, how long do these guys stay? Oh, that long. Hey, uh, we lost a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think I'll, I think a few people died. Well, we got to rebuild. That will keep kicking us until we rise. We will rise again. Oh, they destroyed everything over here? Oh, no. Why would they even burn this down? Nobody's used it since I built it. <laughs> Well, we have one month of food left. 
Uh, we can start actually getting these. Um, yeah. Don't really need that much. We have six months of fuel right now, so we'll just leave it. Uh, we need to rebuild everything, still. Keep building, rebuild, we'll grow, we'll get stronger. Did they take our weapons? They did take some weapons. We say they didn't uh, destroy my extension, though. I think they did. Which is quite unfortunate. We have no food. This is still growing. Okay. We need to let that regrow. Just leave that for now. Make spears. Right, that's the one we need for these guys. Yeah, spears. Do that one. How much, uh, or still got a lot of planks, just in case. Upgrade to a deep mine, but we still need that development. I guess if these resources run out, technically we can sell and buy. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, we do want to upgrade this, so we do want to put at least one person into here. Uh, we also need to build a clay furnace. We don't have enough stone yet. We also need to put a clay resource thingy over here. Just do that. And then, oh no, where is it? Settlement level increased, perfect. That there. Get deep mining. Is anyone living there? No, no one's living here right now. Okay. Okay. We got two blacksmiths. Uh, let's actually also recruit archers. I feel like archers will be easier to actually have than the other ones, so... Um, we need large shields. How do we make those? Is it the armor workshop? Might be. Let's see. Doesn't look like it.
Is this almost done? Yes, they almost, they are going to start harvesting soon. So that's built, that should be good. Let's assign one person there. Sign one person there again, and here. We do have barely any food. When will they start harvesting this? Soon. Nice, we have 80 people now. We have a few people that are level 2. Um, I assume we have unassigned livestock. That needs to be assigned. How do you upgrade to a stable? Ah, two planks. Okay. So they'll start making those. We only have two planks. <laughs> so... Do you guys are technically making bows for people? Um, which it is increasing. We don't have wooden shields. And I don't know how to make them directly. Can these people just not do this? They've been doing this every time. They are capturing every zone around me. I wish I could hire mercenaries. Let's assign somebody to the trading post finally. Um, established a trade route. Is that what I was supposed to do? I think I just did that wrong. Blocks. Blocked because trade the because the trade rule is set to no trade. Zero percent effectiveness in there. Yeah, we only have six iron left. I mean, the good thing is we haven't been starving, but, uh, 
we're still just being absolutely surrounded. We were just trying to chill, have a good time, and not get absolutely slaughtered. Okay, so when they deplete, they just literally go away. All right. Good to know. Um... Where would that actually be? Hmm. Maybe you have to buy it? I'm not really sure. Or maybe you can only build it. Let me let me do this. No no more militia. Just archers. Some of these voice lines awful <laughs> like really really bad Why are they making sidearms? Huh? Hmm. Oh, I figured it out. I'm just blind. Um, and then we also want a cobbler. Okay. Build those. I don't have any builders. Um, well, oh, wait, actually, you stable spaces, oh, two, okay. Oh, they're building themselves, okay, we're good. Let's see what we can do here. So you need a linen to actually make those, okay.
And this doesn't actually say what you need for them, so fair enough. Well, we're almost done with the archers, which is great. Um, we could actually start probably making militiamen again. Um, how many? We made a bunch of sidearms by accident, which was our problem. Yeah. We'll just focus on building these two for now. Um, we need more people. There is homeless, apparently. I guess I didn't realize how many people we were actually making. Build those. I'm sign one of the foragers. Can't hunt anymore until they actually get more. How much, uh, did we get any? Like, even a single one? No. We, uh, we didn't get anything. Why not? What's going on? Man, what the hell? We got no fuel. Actually, we don't need anyone in the tavern right now, so let's just do this. Go get us food. So we need... Lots and lots of food. Um, we can't put any more people on those. Let's do that. Do that. And we do not have any food. Oh no. I think we're about to just barely survive. Maybe even people will start dying. Hunger. Region name. Ah, I love that game. <laughs> Not really sure uh, what to do about that. Maybe I'm doing this all wrong. Maybe I should uh, do this a different way. So I feel like other games and other people have done this probably faster and easier than what I've just did entirely. So. Because so I need to be able to get uh, influence to be able to claim other zones before other people do.
maybe I'll, yeah, you know what? I'm going to restart everyone. I'm going to do this a different way. Also, I am going to open my window because holy shit, is it hot? Ah. Oh, it's also really bright. Ah. I've been in a dark room all day. Okay. What a name. Let's uh let's go for this guy. We're gonna name him Hermo. Cause I think that's kinda silly. Let's do this. Let's do some keys. And We'll make them very... Wait, I can invert them? You can inverse things. I didn't know that. We'll do that. And we'll just, like, mess with everyone's, uh... Everyone's phobias. Doing this over and over again. Um, we're gonna do the same thing, I think. Um, and this time we're going to focus on doing something like, uh, actually, maybe I should do it like that. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't even read each one was different. I thought they were just like maps. I, I thought the scenarios were maps and not that they actually had their own premise. Alright. Uh, now I have an idea of how to actually progress through this a little bit faster. I'm going to try it this way. Okay. First things first. Logging camp. What do we have here? Terrible ones, actually. Like, this is probably going to end poorly for me. Where do we want to progress to be able to get what we need? This one's got a rich deposit of that. This has got a rich deposit of food and animals. So we'll probably go for this one and this one. And we want to do this quickly. So we want to be able to build as many units as possible as fast as possible. We want to build housing. Let's uh, let's do it on the opposite side here. Too much at once. Okay. Not enough goods right now. That build we're gonna need a uh, small stable as quick as possible. I think I just realized a good idea to actually progress faster this time. Um, need this next. I've heard of Renown, I only see Defend My Right, another one. I wish I could just do this. <laughs> just 
to the immediate declare war. Oh, another family just joined immediately. Do that. We need another ox. Get some food. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Pause. Do I want to build a farm immediately? Oh, wow. Yeah, I do. Holy crap. All right, guys, we switched to farming. Okay. Sheep farm. We need more wood. It's forward. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay. <laughs> Got no logs. Okay, so we're going to need to build that as quick as possible. Then we can get another one. Oh yeah, I probably should uh build those storehouses real quick. You know, I don't really have anyone to fulfill those zones yet. I thought I assigned someone there. Did I mess up? I think I messed up. Okay. Built more. Upgrade that. Where? Oh, we're running out of food. That was expected, actually. Let me do this. And this one right here. And just do the regular harvesting for them when I actually get more people. Uh, we got one month left before we have to start actually farm, like, uh, putting people on it. Uh, we need to build a well. Wait, 
which I can build right here. We only got one person building right now. Take one off. Sign two people to start building. Building storage right now. June, but wheat, second year that one, nearby bandits. They're all the way down there. Okay. <laughs> no space left for production. Oh. Okay. Why does it seem like this thing isn't actually building? Stable spaces. Give them the logs. The highest priority on these. Before people start dying of starvation. Where is our other ox? He should be like chilling. Oh, wait a minute. I couldn't see him because he was inside there. That's funny. All right, go hunting. I don't want people to starve too much. Hunger, region name. <laughs> so I need to be able to build a manor or units, which we need a small village size for. So we need a trading post. Livestock trading posts. Um, a sheep farm. Still haven't even finished building the farmhouse. Um, should probably set that to the highest priority right now. This is August. Woodcutters. Uh, 
that. Actually, gotta wait till they finish building more houses. Make no one else homeless. Uh. Let's see here. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Settlement upgrade. We didn't really use this previously. So let's do this one. This people, nobody. Okay. So September, we're going to need somebody to eventually take over the wood logger camp. Uh, do you have any logs? We have three. Sign one there again. Do that. Let's see if this can actually do something good for us. Pasture space, 135. God damn. Um, is there anybody free? Let me take you off. For now. We only got one and one over there. Uh, oh, we have nine months of food, actually. Here. Take those off again. Start building. So, how do you get livestock? We do not have enough money for a single sheep. Okay. that for now wait why did it change do wheat next is fallow then it's wheat again okay so we can export our planks to gold each. That is that one. To actually get those, we need those. And then we can also import those if we need. Okay, so we are going to export every like we got except for five. So 
and then we get some more money. And once we get more money, then we can start doing more things. Uh, eventually we can buy sheep, and then we don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna get that all. Let's uh let's switch it to fallow. We're just gonna have to suffer until the next one. Do that. Do we even have... No. Okay. Let's build a church. We need it. That is this. We have no stone. Let me build a stone thingy. Oh, we need to send someone here. Okay. I feel like I'm missing someone, but I don't know where they are. Like, I don't know who's assigned to what. Got two people there. Got zero people there, which actually, uh, let's take off that as well. Um, got one woodcutter. Oh, and large granary. Okay. Let's, uh, set up a market zone. That. And then I can put the church on the other side. Uh, but first we need stone, so let's do that. Cold, hungry, homeless. Yeah, sounds about right. That's how I feel right now. Okay, that's eight. that No, we need more wood now. Oh yeah, we have eight months of food. All right, let's not worry about this right now. Let's, uh, let's build faster let's get everything set make sure we have enough people making woodcutter zones sign that there how's this looking oh i actually don't have anyone assigned to the trading post either so I'm not going to be able to get any money. Let 
We need two sheeps of importation. Build this. How's our storehouse looking? Empty as hell. Let's uh let's do it like this, I think. Sorry. I'm trying to think on how I'm gonna actually do this. No. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. Put another itching post here. Road axis obstructed. Oh, something's already there. Another one there. That should be good. It's February already. All right. Now I gotta remember about the Raiders. Let's try. Well, I don't think we're gonna be able to get that much, but let's try and get at least one group of archers. So we need to start upgrading these guys, which we need clothing for. But we need more people first. Um, Because we don't have enough wood even. Okay. Uh, two out of five stable spaces, which is great. Still only have five people. I think I need my overall approval really high for us to actually be able to get higher, like, higher speed of population growth. So, let's see here. Do that. And then we're going to have to assign someone over here. Uh, you don't need to be in there right now. Near there's the ox. They can go over here with that. Okay. Let's see if that's easier. Once we get a lot of uh, logs back in the stockpile, we'll be all right. Tanner there. Uh... also get this Don't 
Do I have to assign someone church to uh, do that? Well, actually, you know what I can do? I can uh, I can focus. It's gonna be kind of funny because I'm gonna call it a church build. So do that. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that's working or not. It's, uh, seems a little slower than the other one, to be honest. Whatever happens, happens. So we're going to focus on trying to build this church to level 2. First. And hopefully that increases our population enough to be able to uh, zoom through everything a little bit faster. So I'm going to need clay and I'm going to need stone. So let's, uh, we also need someone to build. I think we need to take off of something. Uh, let's take off one person in there. Send stone cutting. For a tiny bit. So we'll get 20 stone. Oh, I don't I don't care about that one. I wanted this this one and this one. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting higher church approval levels. And we'll have more time to do what we need. We do this. That leaves at the same level. Okay. How much you got? Fourteen. Hurry up. Okay. Oh, that also requires five. Okay. And a few other resources do too. This is 25. Can you guys build these, please? Uh, are they building this one first? Maybe. I can't tell if that's actually like working or if it's just like a general thing happening. No. 
no fuel. But it's May, so I don't think they really care. Okay, got everything we need for that. Can you guys build this, please? And this. Finish building that. Where are they going? Oh, they're grabbing the resources. Okay. Let's uh let's jump down here. I haven't seen how it actually looks like in person. Pretty cool. I always like games that you can do something like this. Actually, I had like a really good idea for a game when I was younger. To have a strategy game where it's more like first person to third person view. It was kind of very similar to this. You're actually building like your civilization and such. Uh but instead of it being like old timey, it was more futuristic. Which I thought would be cool. We're kind of like sitting at a, a solid medium level, a 50%, but uh, we definitely need to increase that um, so we don't actually get wrecked by the bandits. Okay, now we're getting people. Hurry up, hurry up. What, what else? Also, a signing guy there. So this speeds it up a little bit more. Whenever they actually decide to help this guy. Set that the medium. Uh, assign one guy there. So then we can actually get this church level. I think we still have a lot of areas we can fill. Yeah. Got two. I got one month of food left, which is quite unfortunate. So we need 10 of those. Don't know how much each one requires. Uh, we do need that 
for now. Still got no bows. Because we need to upgrade these quickly. Okay, another person moved in. Perfect. Sign them there. So then we can get that amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven. And we have eight families. I signed two people to this, and there's still only one person doing it. Still nothing. Panic camp was sighted. None of the zones that are mine. Perfect. Looks like they're going to go take care of them. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up. Sign there. There we go. Another family. Not up yet. Send those. Okay, okay. Things are moving along now. We haven't had a war declared on us yet. Um, well, not technically yet, but there is bandits coming to kill us, which we don't have much time for. So, we really need population. And they are still not claiming our z zone. Perfect. They can have that zone. As long as they don't claim here or he here, I'm not going to declare war on them. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, we don't want to build it. We don't need any more clay. And we're making money. Okay. Upgrade that church. Need another food thingy. 
you know, it took way longer to do it this way with that animal than it actually did without it previously. But I'm just going to leave it on for now. Just leave it on that. Next year we'll do it. Yep. It had taken so long it wasn't even worth it. Alright, build that church. Okay. Do those. Make sure we know what's in our stockpile. Makes things a little bit easier if we just keep it in there without the generic area being in the way. Okay, got another family. We are getting a lot of money. But we are getting no influence. Apparently you get influence if you upgrade this church. Do that. See if we can get the livestock in here already. Because I feel like that's going to help us a lot. Need one more. Um, we are going to need more fuel. Feels like that our guy cannot keep up fully. Oh, I can start upgrading these. Perfect. I need three of them if I can get it. No, not yet. It's starting to freeze. Oh, sorry. Do that, get rid of that. Okay, good. We're almost done with the church too. Perfect. Sign at least one person there. Keep up that happiness as much as we can. Fletcher workshop. Rid of the tanner for now. Put another person there. There we go. Mm. We want that one.
Okay, so we, we got our first sheep. Where are they? Oh, there's one. He's just chilling. Perfect. Uh, we should probably assign someone there as soon as we can. Oh, did my game just crash? Nope, nope, we're okay, we're good. One person go there. Apparently there's no livestock assigned, but I think that's it's just saying it's glitched. Oh no. Okay, so the pasture is different than the sheep farm. Okay, um, we need one person to sign there. Don't have any, okay, never mind. I thought we didn't have any houses available for people to actually like join. Uh, I don't know how we're not how we're gonna get any food. That that is the one thing that I am worried about. Get off of that trade for now. Um, we want to build more houses. Don't know how I'm gonna keep up with the food supply or demand. Uh, raiders are about to attack us, and we are completely not ready. Uh, we have four bows. Do that. See if those help. I don't know if those actually provide enough food for people, but I feel like it's going to help in some sort of regard. Because it's going to supply, like, chicken eggs. Kind of really need that. Fourteen days. Got seven troops. The bandit camp was sighted. Hmm. We have no food. <laughs> No, actually, wonder. I mean, we could definitely get to that, but we need to actually like make sure we don't run out of resources or food to do so. We do have 250 influence. We 
didn't we? Oh, we have a medium village already. Do we need to do it a certain way then? Wait, we only have three stone. Oh, I oh yeah, we used it. That's right. Never mind. That's why I was confused. Okay. We're not gonna get enough people before they attack. Where are they coming in from? Unless maybe if they come in through this way, we will be fine. Oh no, they're they're right there. Okay. Oh, there they are. Oh. <laughs> no! My church! God damn it. Hopefully it doesn't require too many resources. I also destroyed my granary, but uh, there was something in there, so. Destroy my farmhouse. Uh, people are getting hungry again. Good news is we can actually start foraging. Okay, we got enough of that. So, don't want that anymore. Got 13 in the bank. We do need more money soon. I just really want to build this manor. Because I haven't seen it yet. We almost have enough people. And bows. Nope, wrong one. Actually, wait a minute. Can I just do it like this? No, I need to actually command the region before I do that. If there's any one that I'm going to get, it's going to be this one right here. Because I need the iron. If I have a rich iron deposit, I'm good. Um, For a very long time. But I do want this one because this one will keep the food going for a very long time as well. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do this. Do that. Um... Okay. Oh, you can actually just straight up edit it? Wait, hold on. Move this. The 
Hell yes. I can make my own little castle. And we're going to place it right here. Place road. Going to take a very long time to get to it. That is not a road. Um. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, devs, fix your game, please. Uh, how do you rotate again? Just like this. A little finicky. I'm going to put that there. Um, can't really do that one. We'll just do this for now. Oh, that's one over. Build a road to it directly. Is there a way to recustomize after you place it? No, not that I can see right now, but maybe later. Maybe after we're done building it, it will. Do that. That. Build the manor. See, I want to see what this exactly does and how much influence we'll get from it. Keep selling stuff for now. We can get more people. Um, it's already May. That. Yeah, it's pretty funny that it did that. Now we just have a weird wooden fence that extends like half the property. Can I can I see that in first person? Wait a minute. Oh, third person. Yeah, you can. It's just chilling. <laughs> Sheeps are 30. Okay. Also, lambs are just a, a gray-looking box. That's good to know.
do that real quick. We'll see what that does for this. And then we'll leave the wild animals alone until uh December. And our ox. Place them into here. Alright, so they should start building that uh, whenever I get another person, but they're going to start putting the resources in for that, which is good. Ah, we're finally getting wool. Um, in here? Yes, okay. Nice. Log piece. Transitionary resource. Uh, fair enough, I think. 34th to 34. Okay. Well, I can't assign this guy to anything, so... Well, this is the one with the chickens, which it might be. I think it is. Can we upgrade yet? No. Alright, well, we're getting money. So that's good. Uh, only issue is that no one is... Moving in, which is making me quite worried that we are actually full on everything. Which I think that's the case. Wow, they claimed every piece except for the two that I wanted. Alright, so now we're in trouble. We gotta. We gotta start moving quick. Um, don't have those. They're gonna start building that, which is what we really need. Let me build. How many houses am I gonna need? Quite a lot, I think. Yeah, like, do that type of deal. That one's the highest priority, though. So, yeah, I mean... This game is pretty alright, I would say. Uh, I especially love the transition between this view. Uh, the combat system seems pretty good. Um, from what I've seen online so far, considering that uh, I actually haven't been able to fight anyone yet. Um, what else? The resource management is tough. It's like Frostpunk. Is that the right, one, right game I'm thinking of? It probably is. Um, but all in all, everything seems pretty simplistic. 
Um, if you want to, there's multiple scenarios. If you want to just chill out and do what you normally do, uh, you can. If you want to actually play like more competitively, there seems like there's an option to do so. Uh, there isn't any multiplayer from what I've seen so far. So, it's a, uh, all in all, pretty, uh, good game. I think I would probably give this game, like, uh, probably a 7 out of 10, to be honest. Not because there's anything bad about it, per se. It's just, it's still an early access, and there's obviously some, you know, some glitches uh, that can easily be rectified. Um, there does have to be a, a tonage of uh, AI progression, or at least a visual, to see how far they're going. Because without a visual, it kind of feels cheap um, for the AI to do what they do. So, can I just, hold on. I said I could zoom in on them. Pause it. No. Okay. Well, you can see their names. I just realized that. Ellis. Look at that little guy. immediately signed two guys that and they just killed ten animals immediately. God damn. Um besides that, I can't really think of any sort of major criticism I can really give to the game itself. Uh besides the obvious glitches. Um Yeah, I mean, if they just keep going with their going, it's going to be a pretty solid game. Perfect. Okay, so you can. Okay. So how do you, you just press delete? No. It doesn't say that I can remove this. Like, I'm actually, like, right-clicking right now and nothing's happening. Oh, okay. It's not right-click, it's alt. Uh, like, remove wall point and then remove point. It's two different things, apparently. Okay. So I'm one person to that. Taxes. Finally got taxes. Okay, so there's a retinue, and then there's also archers. Wait, you can customize them? Hold up. Hold up. Okay, okay. Oh, no, <laughs> that was... The lag of game. This is cool. Uh, it doesn't seem like everything's in there yet, but... You can, like, change your colors. Huh.
Okay. Yeah. So I finally have an army now. Uh, it's not very large. Nor is it really the strongest. But it is an army. I'm going to get three groups of archers. And... I don't really know what counters what. So... So we'll just leave it like that for now. So if they try to uh, claim any of these zones, I'm going to fight them. Seems like they're trying to get rid of the camps. Build. Yes, build. Um, can I upgrade anyone yet? Yes. I think I just accidentally told him to build that one as a chicken one. No. Okay, I didn't. Can upgrade a few places, though. So I'm going to upgrade as many as I can. Oh, actually, you know what? We can mine clay. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. We can mine clay, put them through the furnace, sell them through the trading post. Wait, I can order another horse. Sell them through the trading post. And it can give me money, and then I can buy food if I need. Yeah. So we can do it like that. That's probably what the AI does, actually. I just realized that, like, you could probably establish a trade route with for, like, uh, a military item and just zoom through it and export so much of your military equipment or, like, uh, like wool and such and just get as much as you can. Okay. So, what do we want? To do with this, we want to sell the clay, right? Or do we want to actually, can we sell the, uh... No, I don't think so. I think I have to sell the clay directly. Because I don't see any, uh... Where is it? Whatever resource the clay furnace makes. I'll do that. Do this. Sell those. Myself more money. Got a bunch going to level two right now. But we got no food.
bring that down to two. And so people don't starve to death. Not yet, at least. Let's, uh... Let's get this one. Import. Ten at a time. Nice. So, we want to focus on the deep mining then. Once we get that, we don't have to worry about any sort of actual mining issues. Uh, we need to establish this trade route. And export all that down to 10. Keep working, never stop. And that's already down to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunger, taxation. Oh, we're out of stone. How do we run out of stone so quickly? Oh, <laughs> uh, we literally just mined all of it. <laughs> so for this one, we need 50 gold to do that. Uh, upgrades, we require three. So we need three level threes, two, seven level twos. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that in time. Er, um, get rid of that, because we don't need that anymore. One person to church. Yep, yep. People are hungry. I get it. Got 30. Can I? Or it could be placed once a month. 16. Can they hurry up with that food? <laughs> People are, people are getting very angry. Materials. Still got a lot. Oh, do we need more people? Oh. Yep, we need more people. There isn't enough uh, people trading to actually be able to do this. Another war's army was sighted. I assume they're going for there. 
but if they try and capture another zone, I'm declaring war on them. Okay. We don't have enough food to support more people right now, unfortunately. Um, so, we're just going to be chilling slightly. Uh, commit. There we go. How did they steal if we have so much militia men? Do we just have to go straight over there and just kill them? You know what, actually, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. To resolve this population issue, I shall remove some people. Go fight those guys. A media broken. Yeah, there. I told you to run away. Why are these guys so strong against archers? Like, insanely strong against archers. Army balance of power. Construct. Oh, okay, so you can just like construct while you're actually doing this. Yeah, look at how much their fatigue is at versus my units. Uh, I tell them, hey, like, oh, disband. Okay.
Shoot them. Okay, so it seems like, yeah, it's definitely like rock, paper, scissors based. Okay. I want to view this battle, like, in person. Okay. Hey! You got this. Don't worry about it. I I'll just watch. <laughs> okay, so I think these guys are technically light infantry, while my units right here are considered heavy infantry. Uh, these archers can just keep shooting. They're technically will instant break. Shoot at will. Shoot at will. Shoot at will. Now we have a bunch of archers. They're going to break from the amount of archers we have. Don't run. No, I can't actually tell them not to run. Okay, and we got a shit ton of influence from that, actually. That's good to know. What are these guys doing? Guess they're just leaving. Uh, definitely gonna claim this spot first. That's got an iron rich resource in there. Uh, next I definitely want this one because it's got rich uh food resources. And then I'll probably get killed by the AI. You know, after doing that, though, did not reduce my population as much as I thought it would. And my, uh, people are very un- very, very unhappy with how much food we don't have. Um, we got three. How much wool do we have? Thirteen. We got thirty-two dollars. Let's try and get another ox, I think. So then we can assign them to the trade post. Whenever we get them. Go, go, go. Capture the bandit camp. Regional wealth. Nice, nice. That didn't actually give me any influence. Is there another bandit camp that I can go and kill? 
Yes. Go there. I'm going to move our troops to uh, the AI's territory. Which I should probably tell them to go back. Because they'll probably have no... Yeah. So let's send these guys back, actually. Go back as fast as you can. Disband them and then recombine them. And then, yeah. Spent a lot of money on food that time. Back. Hurry. Too fatigued to run. I mean, that could definitely do it. You know what? We'll stay. Bodies need burial. Oh, yeah. People died. Uh, not there. We're just barely surviving right now. Okay, well, um, you guys are going to get taken off of that for now. They required hollowed ground. Uh, where's that? Shrine. I don't know exactly where that would be. Oh, actually, definitely get that. Okay. Well, we're barely surviving. Um, somehow. We're trying to get ourselves out of this pickle. Don't know if we're going to be able to do it, but we'll try.
Fallow doesn't seem to be doing anything for wheat. I'm going to be real. Apparently, the only thing keeping us alive is the clothes thing. Well, there was nobody over here to actually fight, unfortunately. I'm hoping another bandit place will start up soon, so then we can fight them. Um... But yeah, my approval is definitely going down. I don't know how you're supposed to keep your food supply up. Like, I can keep my money supply up. <laughs> That's no issue. Hmm. Am I running into some sort of weird glitch where I can't actually select anything for these people? God damn. I'm just gonna have to leave somebody on this directly the whole time. Well, I mean, even though we're struggling, I do need more people. <laughs> So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. Oh, you can't actually move the well. Huh. All right. We do not have the wood, apparently. 
even though we have six in here already. Do we have any in storage? No. We got two months of fuel. Let me remove one, put another in this. Almost done with that. Let's uh, do that for everyone. I wonder how many bows we've actually made. Probably way too many. Each one is 36. Let's see here. Oh yeah, way too many. It's 90 to sell it. Oh, policies available. Hold up. Hold up. That's decreased approval. Let's let's get this one. Cuz we'll need that for that over there. Even with three people on the forager camp, still not enough. Let's uh do something dangerous. Just take those off. No trade it, sorry. Clay is at 14 out of 10. It's only one per, so. Wool is two, but it takes way longer to make. I want to make shoes. That was the one thing that I was confused about. Like, all these ones are saying, like, oh, uh, we don't have this item, so now I can't upgrade them. Do that. See, like, now I can't select this one. This one doesn't have a, a amenity. Not sure what's going on with that. We got shoes now. So that's good. Guy's m good with that one, actually. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that. Maybe it's because I'm not getting the food stalls set up fast enough. I'm not really sure. Okay, that's done.
don't you see your retinue again? Okay. So we'll need up to 15. That one's only cosmetic. Okay. Let's uh, do that for the trading post. Bring this limit up to 15. Oh, right, that, it makes roof tiles. How much do I trade for roof tiles? Oh, they're really good, okay. So that's what I should do. I should assign another person here when I get a chance. Hopefully this doesn't make anyone starve to death. Those. Still trying to get enough influence. But I have not seen any way to actually get more influence. So. Gotta keep that guy assigned. Or one of those guys. Wrap max animals again. Need somebody for the sheep farm. Still running out of fuel quickly. We don't need anyone for the granary at this point. Should have enough at this point. Oh, we got 11. Probably because we're still selling them. Let me, uh, actually, let me increase it by one more so I actually have that limit. <laughs> Bandit camp was sighted. Where is it? Down there. God damn it. Alright, time for a walk, everyone. Go over there, go do what you do, go kill those bandits, because we need that influence, stat. Okay, need to build that.
still got 83 stoned. Upgrade that. All right. No, you don't. I didn't even see that other bandit camp up there. Where are they coming in from? I don't know. Just head over there for now. Oh, they're running. Hold on. Do not run. They seem to have some sort of issue when you select more than one that it does that. Alright, so we need to find a good spot where we're both in a, a decent zone. And they have low effectiveness, while we have higher effectiveness. Oh, they're fighting a guy. They instantly broke. They're going to try and get us in the forest. Hello? You guys okay? Go that way if you're just going to go straight that way. Perfect, perfect. I'm almost at full effect of this. Pull them out of the zone. These guys are not following my orders directly, causing me a little bit of issues.
See, look, I just told him to go that way, and he just went the opposite way. Yeah. No, don't push forward. Run away. You got those guys. Get them. Um, trying to keep these guys distracted. There we go. We're just going to make sure all their stam is gone. And we're just going to keep engaging like that. Also, it seems like I can't call these back for some reason. I wonder if I can hire a mercenary while this is going on. Treasury. Ah, I see. We are winning. How do they lose against archers? <laughs> Go up there. Those guys are fleeing. And get into the actual point quickly and stop lolly gagging all around this is uh this is the worst battle But hey, uh, I think we're winning. No, oh, technically the zone of battle is over here. I thought it was this area. Well, I'm going to just keep uh, harassing them so nobody gets on point.
recruits missing. Do I need to do that to be able to actually get it? Because I can have 12 of these guys, and they still haven't, like, actually want a maximum amount. Hmm. Let me buy another one of those real quick. requires straight from the treasury can i take money from the from there and bring it to my treasury what the heck okay I don't know what's going on there. Hunger. I didn't really want them to do that, but it's fine. They are running out of stamps slowly. And so is my guys, unfortunately. We are probably going to lose this battle, just saying. Not really sure how we would be able to actually win this. Shoot. I haven't really been even looking over here. They're just all chilling.
<laughs> Arrows do so... They do no damage, bro. <laughs> I'm literally just watching arrows go right past people and not even hit them. <laughs> the forever battle. We can just keep them like this until we uh, actually uh, build up into a, like a strong force. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna need some spears and some shields. Do that. Still can't do anything because no fuel or food. Oh, now they're charging. Run as fast as you can that way. And these guys over here... When they go to chase them down, they'll be outside the battle zone, and I'll still be inside. Now, how do I recruit more retinue guys? Because they were, like, literally the only thing actually... Uh, killing things. I don't think that, that's how this game works, unfortunately. I think it's following a zone. Are you kidding me? Well, everyone go home. Everyone go home. It's all over. Okay, so... Archers suck. Got it. Man, is it taking a long time to build this manor? Oh, I think people are leaving, actually. Either that or they died. I think maybe they died. Hmm... Well, I think that's enough for me for today. Wait, why is that battle symbol still here?
Oh no, that's weird. Anyway. So today was a uh, was kind of a trip. I uh, could not figure out what the hell I was doing for the life of me in a way that like made se sense. I mean, it was kind of the same way with Anno when I was playing it as well. I feel like I was doing the right thing, and then all along, oh, I was doing something really, really inefficient, and then I went back around trying to do it, and then I ran into the same issue. <laughs> Well, I hope everybody enjoyed today's stream. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably going to be streaming again, um, unless anything else changes. Uh, today, I would say, was a good, chill stream. Um, and uh, more than likely, I won't be restreaming this one. But I think that, in general, it was a fun game. And I think more people should try it at least once. Um... Not sure exactly what we might do tomorrow. I have a bunch of games lined up that I wanted to do. Uh, and then I have a bunch of other games that I wanted to select to uh, stream later on. But we'll try and figure it out as I go. Uh, I want to make sure I have games to stream constantly. And once I kind of like start to die down a little bit and catch up on a lot of the games that I've never streamed before. Um... I feel like that would be a good thing for me to really chill out and just chat around for a while until uh, I figure out exactly what I would want to do afterwards. Besides that, I hope everybody enjoyed my ta today's stream, and I will see everybody tomorrow between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, by the way. All right. Have a good night, everyone.